Hi guys, um, I've had a lot of you uh, messaging me recently about how I do my brick walls or more so what tools I use to um, to make my brick walls. Um, so what I thought I'd do is a really quick tutorial um, just to show you how I do it. Um, there may be other ways of doing it but this is the way that I do it. Um, basically the, all the tools that you'll need just to make a, a basic brick wall is metal ruler, your foam, um, a scalpel type knife like this one, a um, felt tip pen and a biro and perhaps a pencil as well. Okay. The reason I use a felt tip pen is because if I'm marking out the foam it doesn't make in any indentations into the into the foam. Okay. So basically on this piece here I have made a, a very rough uh, brick layout for you. Um, normally when I do it I measure it properly for my scale this is very very rough as you can see and um, so I've done that on here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to score on the lines that I've made okay and when I do my brickwork I always score along these lines first okay so that's what I'm going to do on this piece so I'll get my ruler and my knife and when you score along the lines just run your uh, knife along the ruler and probably score in about sort of two to three mils into the foam so you haven't got to go hugely deep and just run along those ones Ooh, this is very very rough purely because the piece is a bit too small for me to be doing this on but hey ho you get the idea right okay so i've done my lines uh, downwards and then what i'll do then is i take a biro with a little with a, obviously the bit on the end there and what I do is I run the biro along the lines I've just scored and you will find that your biro tip will just run nicely along the lines without going wibbly wobbly okay so you can see there where I've scored into the foam and then I do my ones that go down now, on a 112 scale, I would measure out my distances between my, my bricks and then I tend to freehand the lines. Um, on a bigger scale, for the 16 scale, I do tend to use a long ruler because that's a big piece to, um, to keep in line. So if it was 112 scale, I tend to freehand it once I've measured. So I'll just do that a minute. So we're going down the, down the brickwork now. So I'm just running my, again, my knife in about two to three mils into the foam and I'm doing this a lot quicker than I normally do this I do take a bit more time normally <laughs> okay nearly done okay so done all my down lines and now again I'm going to use my biro and I'm going to score into the lines I've just made again you can go as deep as you want to with the biro depends on how deep you want the the gaps to be um, on the piece to here whoop, that I'm working on um, I'm actually going to be putting like a type of pointing into those ones I'm going to be using um, polyfiller to go into gaps so I've actually made those quite deep and quite thick but these you know you don't have to do that um, you see a lot of my work I don't actually do that Okay, so there you can see I have run the pen all along the lines and now you can see that we've got a nice indentation into the foam. Okay, and then what you can do if you want to, once you've made your wall, if you want to rough it up, you can take chunks out of your brick. Okay, take chunks out, you can... Um, you know indentation bits take bricks out if you want to so if you want to have broken wall bits there you go you can take bits out so you know it's it's quite good fun okay so that's basically the basics of how I do it and I uh, hope that's been helpful okay